everyone what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel dan and steve another reaction how's it going steve what's happening dan you all good I don't think I've ever called you Steve in my life. I know, I don't know. It was really weird. Do you know what, mate? I wasn't going to say anything about it, and then you just dropped it in there, and I'm like, do you know what? He's in his flow. I'll let him just say What did I say Steve for? <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway, this reaction is going to be Run the Jewels. Oh, la, la. Uh, are you a fan of Run the Jewels, Steve? Mate, I, oh, my God, I said it again. Stop calling me Steve, right? But first of all, I never really listened to Run the Jewels until you started talking to me about them. And do you ever get when you drone on so much about something? I'm like, fuck, right. I, I yeah. really them. So listen to a couple of songs, and they're, they're, they are class, like. Um, but well, I haven't really sat down and went through like their whole book of work. Like, I don't think we've done a reaction to Run the Jewels together. I've done one before. I think it was Yankee and the Brave, which was awkward because it was one of my first ever solo reactions. But I think, honestly, I think Run the Jewels have made the best hip-hop in the last 10 years. I'll argue that the hills with that there. I think they're amazing. LP and Killer Mike are just ridiculous. And what I, what I find really interesting about them, because they had their own solo careers, like Killer Mike was doing it from he's from Atlanta, Georgia, LP, Brooklyn, New York. And they were both successful in terms of making money. They were both professional musicians and shit. But whenever they came together, they literally just exploded. And like I always wanted I always ask the question, was it because they just the duo just looks more appealing to people? Or was it because like you have someone who's decent, another person who's decent, you combine them, they just become better. You know what I mean? Like why 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 did it take them to their forties to actually get the success? Are you thinking like in terms of us, because we're both so talented that we're just better together? And yeah, and we have whenever to we're stay 40, together. Whenever we're forty, our podcast and YouTube channel. Is friendly. <laughs> Someone's gonna actually start watching this shit. <laughs> get a few comments and shit. But anyway, uh, we'll get we'll give this a go and see how it goes. This is Run the Jewels. Ooh la la. Looking for M's like I lost a friend Jump out of my bed like where the bread You go hold the egg, way to bring the check When we talk, we collision the car Keep us in your thoughts, fully dressed at the crack of dawn Weapons heading off, I can hear them from the block See them creeping through the fog Season's greetings, not feeding season can start Oh my God, look alive, looking like I live life on a crooked line Doing fine, you want maximum, stupid, I am the guy First of all, fuck the fucking law, we is fucking raw Stay tall, tall, oysters on the half jail Switch your ball, life a bitch and the pussy feet Still fuck the wall, I'm a dog, I'm a dirty dog, ha 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 Oh dirty bastard, go in your jaw, shimmy shimmy y'all Got the simmy in the hemi, go and gimme gimme y'all Pugilistic, my linguistics, RJ Rude a damage y'all And I rap it pornographic, be set up the camera Ooh la la, are we we? And I got you covered, I'm busting. Bust. My brother's a runner, he touching, it's no discussion. Gush. I used to be musk and I wasn't supposed to be nothing. No. Y'all fuckers corrupted, I up to something disgusting. My pockets are proper this season, I love the couple. I'm afraid of nothing but nothing, this ain't hey, a something. One markers are dumping, a point and click at your pumpkin. I think what I really like about Run, Run the Jewels and just like certain hip hop artists in general, like they're not really following any sort of like trends and stuff. You know, when I listen to some like, generic artists, like, even, like, I know we did a few reactions to KSI, I know, and then even big rappers, like, Little Pump and all too, I just feel like whatever's trendy they're talking about, you know what yeah. I mean? When you have, like, band, even, like, Eminem, for example, that's why he's one of the, one of the best, but with, with Run, Run the Jewels, it's like, they have what they they find interesting, obviously it's politics and stuff, and society and stuff. And, I'm watching this video thinking, like, this is, like, a fucking coming out of lockdown party. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
So I'm just picturing, but yeah, I know exactly what you mean. There's the I act the song so far is pretty damn good. Like the production quality. Yeah. The video looks amazing. Even like the fucking scenes where you see the helicopter flying across. Like obviously a lot of money's been pumped into making this video. Yeah. But with from the jewels, what what I find really interesting about them is stuff. It's just like they bring in social and political like elements like in every single song they released, even though either songs they're sound like a piss take, but it's also social problems involved in that there, which I always think it's really interesting how you can tie all these things together. And if, and their flow is obviously so good, and of course they bounce off each other so well. But I know I always like artists that get there who are also like they have what they want to talk about and they're gonna do it in their own way. Why not mm-hmm. like? Like, you know, if this was, like, a little pump, he'd be probably talking about TikTok now. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he'd be talking about, like, like the like what's popular in the media rather than actually talking about what they want to talk about. I don't know. It's just something about listening to this song. I'm like, this is pure. This is pure, like, hip-hop artist. Just, so put your kids in the open. Fuck a king or queen and all of their lost subjects. I pull my penis out and I piss on they choose the public. <laughs> People, we the pirates, the pride of this great republic. No matter what you order, motherfucker, we want you stuck with. I used to love Bruce, but live in my Vita Loca. Help me understand, I'm probably more of a joke. When we usher in chaos, just know that we did it smile. Cannibals on this island, inmates run the asylum. Ooh la la, are we? Boom, done. Uh, that's RTJ4. Can't fucking wait for that, like. Sally's probably going to get delayed, though. Everything's getting fucking delayed, man. It's doing my head on. This was scheduled to come out, I think, October, November anyway, so I'm hoping it's still on track, but I think just because of this whole lockdown, they're going to probably push it back another six months or something. Fuck I'm it. reading, like, the comments on the video, not the comment, but, like, the description, and they're saying, we shot this video a few weeks before the pandemic hit. We have uh, no clue what the future was going to hold and the fact that we got to actually shoot this is a, is a miracle it was so true could you imagine like like that's such a piece of art the video yes yeah. like fucking pandemic would have prevented that even being shot you think about it like there's a lot of like podcasts i listen to like the one dax shepherd uh his podcast uh the armchair expert like he had to put a disclaimer every time he released the video or i got a podcast going this was shot before the lockdown just in case yeah. everyone's getting annoyed at me. I'm seeing else. even... I was watching it down the other day and there's some cooking show on Channel 3 and because they're all, like, beside each other, it was just, like, disclaimer underneath. This was recorded before social distancing. I was just yeah. like, this is insane. Like, what the fuck's going on? It's That's like, people crazy. know that. It's like, you have to just... It's almost like they're just preventing people just ringing and fucking sending letters complaining. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Social distancing, yet can't... I know. But here, what do you think of the song? Yeah, it's class. Yeah. Really, really good. I need this. I, it's one of those things like you keep showing me videos, and I need to just get into the band. I need to just have a wee look on Spotify and and give them a listen, give them yeah. a fair chance, you know. But there's no else, reason why I shouldn't like them. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I I reckon you will. But it's one of these things like it's it's hard to start listening to a new artist, and it's even no matter how much someone pushes you to listen, like you're not gonna listen to them until you go there eventually yourself like, it's like or you need to organically go there and listen to them instead of yeah. just someone telling you because someone tells you to listen to it you have their that pressure of them telling you and it's a negative experience why if and you it, find, if you find them eventually yeah. yourself you're gonna like them more but then it's so funny because like whenever you find them like organically yourself and you start loving them you turn into that person being like you need to listen to this <laughs> uh, what whenever I'm, someone tells me to listen to something i'm like okay yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, always, right? <laughs> I'm always like, uh, okay, I'll keep it in mind, but I'm not going to do it now. Just let me find it eventually. But what I love about uh, Run the Jewels, and it's like it's like any sort of form of media. Like when I watch certain movies or certain like TV shows, well, I obviously it's enjoyment, but you also want to learn a few things from it. You know what I mean? That's why I really love documentaries because they're entertaining, but you also learn a few things from it. And the same as music, both Run the Jewels, you're hearing about all these social problems in America that. Like, you're a world, but sometimes you don't know the reality of it all until someone explains it. And with Killer making LP, the way they can write lyrics and actually inform you about actual problems happening, like the Black Lives Matter, you know, uh, say like the the 
the prison system in America where like, like more blacks are incarcerated compared to white people. Like no shit like that there. Like there are things I kind of maybe knew about in the back of my head, but when you have someone like Killer Mike and LP kind of explain it to you in that way, you're like, fuck, that's really interesting. And that makes you go and research it. And actually you learn things then. You're like, all right, that's actually a problem. You're like, all right, I from listening to this song, I've learned so much thing. I've learned so yeah. much from a song. While you listen to some artists these days, it's like, oh, TikTok, Tusi Slide, or like what the fuck is this about? Like, what, what are you trying to tell me here? You know what I mean? I get what you mean. Yeah. I think I think that's why... There's a time and a place for both, though. Do you know there what I mean? Is, there is, there is. There is a part. Like, like, I, I love having, like, fucking serious material. Uh, and then you go and you research and you find out about shit. But I also love my songs that are also just fucking just switch your mind off and just listen and just yeah. chill. Yeah, you know but yeah. I, mean? I think for me, as long as you can tell, you can separate them. You can tell yeah. the difference. Like, you listen to Run DMC, or not Run DMC, like, NWA, like, like... There's a real social movement going on here compared to listening to the fucking Vanilla Ice. You know what I mean? Like, as long as you can separate them and don't try to compare them, they're not, they're not comparable. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was our reaction anyway. If you like what we're sort of our opinions on it, let us know in the comments below. Let us know in the comments below. That rhymed. I said, Oh, my God.